Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing well. Today is a really beautiful day, clear skies. It's gonna be in the low 80s today. So far there's not much of a breeze, but that could change. I'm back out at that area where I had lost all that footage that day. I'm gonna try again. I'm taking a different route today, but before I do that, I'm going back to the original route because there's a little something I want to show you guys. So it's pretty interesting. I think you're going to like it. All right, well, let's see what we can get into. What I want to show you is right up here. Check this out. This here is called St. John's Mint. And this stuff is as good, if not better, than regular peppermint. It's as strong and, and it's full of flavor. And it's everywhere, it grows everywhere, all year round. It's a nice ground cover, mostly anywhere where it's kind of moist, you know, year round. I guess where this area is, kind of close to the floodplain so but yeah you can dry it make it into a tea or you can nibble on it just like that mm, it's absolutely incredible it tastes so good mm. so and this area is covered in it. it is so uh, plentiful here that it's just it's it'd be stupid not to take a bunch mm. Just show you one more time what it looks like. You can see the little the little four petal flowers there. Yeah. Nice little lobe leaves there. And that's what it is. It's got a nice, you know, uh, square stem. But this is a really, really nice wild edible here. It's more of an herb, really. You can add it to salads. You can eat it straight up like I just did. I'm going to take a bunch and probably make a tea later. So, yeah. This is something really, really nice I wanted to show you guys. And uh, I'm going to gather up a bunch myself and go ahead and uh, uh, hit the trail the opposite direction I came in at. Because there's a lot of other stuff that I want to do today. Awesome. Already be. Well, I've been out here for about an hour now, and I'm like, ugh. I mean, there's only just a light breeze, so it's just like the humidity is just sapping all of my energy. I'll be okay though. Where I want to go today is still a ways off, but uh, still lots of cool stuff to see on the way. So, all right, let's focus on this trail.
amazing through here. All these old oaks leaning over like this, covered in this resurrection fern. Stuff looks dead, but it really isn't. As soon as it rains, it all comes back to life. Here's a good example of it right here. This tree here. There, you see this? This is all resurrection fern. And it looks dead and uh, dried out, but it really isn't. As soon as it rains, it comes back to life. It's pretty amazing. coming right there it's gonna be a nice relief from this heat though I'm almost there where I'm going today is just inside this tree line here and I'll work my way through there and the thick undergrowth I should be able to find what I'm looking for very quickly all right but uh it looks like I'm gonna get wet look at that you can see the streaks of rain coming down that's wild Alright, I'm inside. Now, if memory serves me correctly, it's just a little bit over here. Oh, here it is. Yep, this is the place. Let's get this old bottle here. You know, <laughs> gross. But yeah, this is it. It's an old collapsed trailer. I know it's not much to look at, but it's it's just kind of interesting because it's so back here and lost. You know, I don't know what it could have been as far as you know why it's out here. It could have just been for hunting or you know camping or, or what. But uh, no, it's definitely neat. There's all kinds of stuff hidden down in here too. A little piece of rubber and foam and bits that look like maybe, you know, part of a stove. There's a little sink, you know, and piping and, you know, this stuff will be here forever and ever. And it's just, it's just interesting as to why it had collapsed, you know. I mean, it doesn't look like there had been a fire or anything because it's, you know, nothing looks charred, nothing looks melted. It just looked like it was just old or a tree fell on it or something. I don't know. I mean, it, it could have been a fire. I don't know, but. Light bulb is stuck in the ground, it won't come out. I don't want to force it because it'll just break. the rain. Looks like I'm going to be getting wet. It's alright though.
I'm pretty sure that underneath all this stuff, there's some pretty interesting items. But uh, I'm not gonna go and try to, you know, lift all this stuff up. That'd be uh, ridiculous. But I'm sure that it's full of snakes. So here we go. Check this out. That's kind of cool, I like that. I wonder if this is similar to what was buried over there. Oh, look, he's looking at you. <laughs> That's all right, I like that. That's cool. Like a porch light or something. Come on now. <laughs> oh man. Right there is a little sink. I don't any of this stuff. Here's the frame, steel frame. Well, like I said, there's probably a ton of stuff buried inside this thing. Oh, I'm not going to go in lift a bunch of stuff out of here, cut myself, you know. Ugh. Vine's tangled around my ankle here. Ugh. But I did see something over here I think I could reach. Let's check this out. coffee cup here I like that that's really nice and then, uh, little pot it's really lightweight though probably only good for warming up some water but I'm gonna put it all back If I decide to come back and get that coffee cup, I will. But it is kind of cool. I don't know if it has that naturally marbled look to it, but it's kind of cool, I like that. But yeah, this is really tangled in here. I'm gonna work my way out of here and work my way through the woods over here to get to that other little shelter. And that, I believe, is still intact. All right, let's see if I can get out of this. Oh, there it is. in here man and the cool thing is it is right on the edge of this tree line over here but you have to come in from the other side otherwise I had to walk all the way around and come in and you saw the weather out there I think I'm gonna need some extra light <laughs> check this out There we go, right there. March 3rd, 2001. I wonder if any of these go back even earlier. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. March 17th, 2000. Going back in time here. Let's see what else we got. December 7th, 2000, right there, that's cool, I don't want to dig too deep though, you know how I feel about dust and stuff in these places, 
but it'll give you an idea of like so, <laughs> when the last time somebody was out here doing stuff. Let's check this one out. Maybe this one looks really old. Hold on. This is uh, 1999. Wow. I moved to Florida in 98. Let's see, maybe something will jump out of me. <laughs> There's a lot of canned goods and stuff in there, so we've got my light here, it's on the floor. And let's see what we got. Whoa! Look at him in there. Hey, little buddy. You see him poking his nose out? Look at that! Oh. <laughs> Man, that was cool! Little mouse. <laughs> I didn't expect that, but yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, this place is a brilliant rat habitat. <laughs> It's like pepperoni or something. I don't know if it's still good. Salt cured meats do last a while, but there's no mold on it. I'm kind of tempted to try one, but as soon as I open this jar, these will all go bad. I think I'll just leave it and I'll come back in a couple years and see how it looks. But if this was put here in 1999 or 2000 or 2001, you know. 22 years ago, jeez. <laughs> Let's go inside and check it out. I guess this is the master bedroom. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to my abode. <laughs> Let's check out some of these cabinets here. Little guy, little guy, check him out. What's up? 
Whoa! Oh, he's running down the wall. E, man, he don't know where he's going. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Shoot. Spooky, I can't see anything now. Let's see what's up. That one must have hurt. <laughs> oh, it reeks in here. See what else we can find. Oh, little paper towels. I'm nervous about putting my hand in here. This is a magazine of some kind. It looks like a. All right, to berries. This is a 1994 catalog. Check this out. I was in England. Go. And I want to go out here, freshen up, and have something to eat. But it turned out really nice out there. Beautiful, cool breeze coming up. When I got here, I was pouring. I was using my other camera, my waterproof camera. But as soon as I was inside, I realized I don't need to use this little camera anymore. I can use my good one. So, but yeah. But I'm gonna grab my gear and I'm gonna start heading out of here. The sun came out real nice, but it doesn't mean it's gonna last because I can still see storm clouds in the distance and the wind's coming out of the east. So, and that's where that storm came in from. Yeah, this is really cool. I've always really appreciated this location. Anyways, let me grab my stuff when we get out of here. these are these are huckleberries now at first I was looking at them thinking oh, those look like blueberries but uh no straight up I uh, ID them and everything and these are huckleberries baby look at that mm. and this not too far away from that old cabin there's tons of them in here but none of, none of them seem quite ripe as these ones right here mm. I'm probably going to save a couple of these and take the seeds home. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> They're delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. There's plenty of them around here for the animals, so don't worry about them. Not to mention the hundreds of green ones that are on here and the hundreds and hundreds of plants that are all around. So that little small little bit right there isn't going to affect the animal population out here, trust me. Cool. I think I'll hang on to these and I'll plant them when I get to the house. Alright. Well, still got a long way to go, so let's carry on.
good size alligator right there. And then he dropped his head underwater, but it's shallow right there, so I can see his back. This is cool, man. This is a real low pressure spot. This area is so secluded right here that you just know that there, the fish in here has never seen a plastic worm. getting out of here. This spot is all new to me. I love this. It seems to go on for a long time too. It'd be next to impossible to get my kayak in here. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled though. This is ripe with cotton mouths never know but it is a really interesting little spot back here I'm gonna mark it on the map and return with the fishing rod right across the swamp here see that a green field over there is uh is the road that I'm after. Oh, I can see a tractor on it too. It's kind of cool. Let's see if I can find my way around this uh this little spring here. This is the road I was looking for. Awesome. Absolutely beautiful. Mm, the air is really sweet too. So we got all this pine scrub over here. We got a nice wetland over there full of flowers. It's just absolutely incredible. I'm glad you guys came along. I appreciate y'all very much. And like always, take care.